Well, gentlemen, first let me introduce you to Mr. Sunil Kumar Gupta, Secretary to Vice President of India, a 1987 batch IS serving officer, a very senior official of Government of India, and from IIT Kanpur. And your High Commissioner is a lovable person. Everything went very smoothly for two days. Kahin kuch gadbad nahi hoi. Bina gadbad ke ye, kaisi yadgar hoogi. His response was full of wit. Bola yadgar karne ka karyakram to aaz abhi ho raha hai. He indicated to me, you will be made to run here. Ab tak ke karyakram to thik thak ho gaye hain, but this one will be a tough task. <laughs> My young friends, it's a delightful experience to avail an opportunity to say a few things to you. Unfortunately, it can't be interactive due to shortage of time. But next time when I will come, we will have enough time and for one good reason. Gain will be mine. I will be gainer. I recollect that incident where Pradhan Mantri Ji had completed handed episodes of Man Ki Baat and I was to inaugurate it. And this happens to be world's most effective, impactful dialogue of our leader with the masses. Totally apolitical. Revolutionizing a system for health, education, environment, good things in life, persuading students not to have stress, not to have tension, not to be bugged by the fear element, fear of failure. Amir Khan was there. So I said, Amir Khan Ji, one three idiots me कहा था कि मैं कमजोर विद्यार्थी का साथ नहीं छोड़ता। You know that? पहले तो मैंने कहा I don't know why three intelligent people were called three idiots. <laughs> They're very brilliant. मैं भी अच्छे invitation को छोड़ता नहीं हूँ। So the gracious High Commissioner has indicated he will ensure I come here again. Sir, जल्दी कीजिए। Time gap होने के बाद थोड़ा confidence gap आ जाता है। If we examine the situation, friends, from a global perspective, our DNA is so strong that there is no challenge to our intellect at a global level. Wherever we go. We perform amazingly well. And this is not only limited to the student section. <laughs> when they graduate into a next level, their impact is being felt everywhere. But one thing which we suffer in our country is the lack of system. In several countries, that are known to be developed countries. My observation is not critical. I am just being analytical. They thrive on mediocrity. They march ahead because of mediocrity, but because there is a system. In last eight years, in system also, we are making great headway. So, our Bharat at the moment 
is on the rise as never before. And the rise of Bharat is unstoppable. And the rise <laughs> is being globally recognized. Or aap se jada kon zanta hai? September 2022, what an accomplishment. India became the third largest, or fifth largest economy on the globe. September 2021. Overtaking our erstwhile colonial rulers. Thanks to human resource of the country. By all indications, by turn of the decade, we will be third largest global economy. <laughs> by all standards, even in this stressful period, we are fastest growing large economy. Fastest. And our inflation is under control. India today, friends, is a global destination of opportunity and investment. Aisa to kabhi sapne mein bhi nahi socha tha ki ye din aayenge. Isko kehte hain achhe din aagay. Aur isko kehte hain ab Bharat mein sab kuch mumkin hai. Let me give you some statistics only to buttress my point. In December 2022 figures came for that particular period. Total digital transactions in India mark my words now carefully. They exceeded such transactions taken together in the US, UK, France and Germany. You will have to clap again. I'll, and I, I'll tell you why. They exceeded the combined transactions of UK, USA, France and Germany by four times. <laughs> there was a time and you would all know about it to get a passport, to get a Russian card, to get a driving license, to make bill payments or to receive government funds was a tough task. You had to be in long queues for getting a rail ticket. What has happened now? There are no long queues. There are no queues at all. Technological revolution has transformed our society beyond imagination. This is primarily because of the youth. They take to skill so fast as duck takes to water. <coughs> now go to any village and you will have easy solution. Somebody in the village will tell you how to get a passport and he will operate his system from there. Somebody will book your ticket. Somebody will get your driving license. This revolution has come. But the big ticket change is that heavy investment has gone in infrastructure. Heavy. There used to be time when we used to have a kind of trains. Then there was improvement. Shatabdi trains. There was further improvement. 
Rajdhanis, and now the improvement is incremental, and the growth is geometric. Bande Bharat. Look at our road network. Delhi to Jaipur is now three hours. And not by the same highway, a new highway has come up. These changes have taken place because an ecosystem has come to be developed whereby every young person has been enabled to unleash his or her energy to the fullest extent he or she can fully exploit her potential and talent. Funds are no issue at the moment. It's a big change that has come place. Unthinkable. When we look at startups or unicorns, we are envy of the world. Our, and this has been done by our young boys and girls. And when we go to these achievements, तो लड़कियों का पड़ा भारी है उनके अचीवमेंट ज्यादा है यहां भी संख्या काफी बैलेंस्ड है आई uh, थिंक इनके पक्ष में मामला जाता है यू सी आधार कार्ड देर वॉज अ रिफ्लेक्शन अबाउट आधार कार्ड 99.9 परसेंट इंडियंस are connected to Aadhaar card. This Aadhaar card is free. If you go to other dispensations, you will not get that idea. Then it is 100% state owned. And our Nobel laureate has reacted. This is the world's most effective, impactful program and that is in the larger democracy. Now what is our great advantage is that will put us on a different track. I tell you and I'm sure you will think about it and agree with me. But don't agree without thinking. How many of you are married? Okay. So one of you, one of you can agree and then think, because he's married. Rest of you will have to think and then agree. <laughs> India, my dear young friends, has excellent captain at the moment. Our captain, our executive head, the prime minister, has transformed India from third world country into global superpower in just eight years. <laughs> Relentlessly, he is empowering those who are vulnerable sections of society. The last man in the row is being touched with development on infrastructure, our Bharat Mala and Sagar Mala, these are not words, they are on ground. The kind of development that has taken place, rail, road, connectivity, technological connectivity is unheard of. All policies are people-centric. They have to affect the lives of our ordinary people. And that has been the only mantra that is a guiding principle. We are fastest growing economy. On what ground? Our people are hard working. But to ensure that young minds act positively, they do not suffer any constraint. After 34 years, we had a national education policy. All stakeholders' opinions were taken. 
and that is no longer degree oriented that is skill oriented for the first time our education policy allows young minds to fully blossom with no constraint young people in bharat now are not job seekers they are job creators what is our greatest advantage we we have become now the most populous country in the world 1.4 billion but that according to me is a great advantage we are a demographic powerhouse no country can claim on the plank of demo, demography to be a powerhouse as potent as india our country is bound to reap demographic dividend and india has learned the art of leveraging demographic component by registering economic progress just imagine the purchasing power of over a billion people and what can it do it can do wonders size and age of workforce in india i have no doubt will play a very significant role in our growth trajectory a figure has come out and that figure is very significant you are elite segment of the society in your age group you are thinking vibrant minds you will appreciate it immediately the share of india's working age population to total population will reach highest level by 2030 it will be 68.9% no country can claim to have it that being the situation we were being dragged for decades because there was no ease of governance there were systemic difficulties but now friends transparency and accountability are new mantra our power corridors our governance corridors have been fully sanitized of power brokers there are no lies and legends now actually this flourishing industry this very powerful industry this industry which controls the system very effectively has vanished वो कहते हैं ना सर से सिंह गायब हो गए इट हेज बिकम अ मैटर ऑफ द पास्ट आई एम पर्सनली विटनेस टू सम ऑफ द हिस्टोरिक डेवलपमेंट्स इमेजिन टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड करोड रुपीज डायरेक्टली गोइंग टू इंडियन फार्मर one who is in the village small holding with no middleman no human interface three times a year and their number is 11 crores look at the figure look at the number and there is no leakage not a paisa gets drained out of the system it was not easy it was brought about by a visionary step by having 300 million bank accounts to begin with at that point of time logon ko ajeeb laga tha bank account kholne se kya hoga iska kya fayda hai jab sankat aaya when we faced the great challenge of covid 
when we wanted to empower our human resource, when we wanted to empower our farmers, our anger body workers, the direct transfer has been extremely helpful, a game changer, a turning point in India's economic growth. आप लोग तो यहाँ रहते हैं कुछ फर्क महसूस किया होगा कि भारतीय होने का क्या मतलब है लगता है दुनिया हमें समझ गई है इंडिया टेक्स इट्स पोजिशन ऑन ग्लोबल अफेयर्स ऑन इट्स ओन अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर इट्स ओन वेलफेयर एंड फॉर वर्ल्ड पीस India is emerging as a superpower. But those who are before me, they have a greater challenge ahead. One, some of us may not be around when India will be celebrating its centenary of independence in 2047. But you all will be there. you will be very significant players you will carry it on your shoulders for next 25 years and you will ensure that a place which bharat had in the world few hundred years ago at pinnacle that we will attain so people before me in this room are not just young boys and girls you are foot soldiers you are warriors of 2047 what bharat will be and i have no doubt i 100% agree with what vikram ji has said we are proud of our students they are most brilliant by any standards they come from all segments of society they have faced great difficulties their step has been of a nature the growth has been cesarean it has not been easy this attainment that you have registered so far will help the nation go spinally very strong in times to come और मेरे मन में तो कोई शंका नहीं है मैं तो खुद प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एजुकेशन हूं एजुकेशन इज द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशनल मैकेनिज्म टू ब्रिंग अबाउट अपलिफ्टमेंट इन सोसाइटी टू कट डाउन इन इक्विटीज एंड टू गिव आवर नेशन वॉट इट डिजर्व टाइम इज शॉर्ट पर दो तीन बातें तो मन की कहूंगा ही आखिर मन की बात ना कहूं तो ठीक नहीं है और मन की बात दिल से कहूंगा वी डोंट वॉन्ट अ सिस्टम दैट वी डोंट एनालाइज आवर कंट्री वी हैव टू एनालाइज वी आर थिंकिंग माइंड्स वी विल हैव टू प्रोब थिंग्स नथिंग इज इनस्क्रूटेबल इन इंडिया वी आर हैविंग अ कल्चर नाउ नो वन इज अबाउट लो एवरी वन इज अकाउंटेबल टू लो दो क्लेम टू बी अबाउट लो आर सफरिंग बी यूसो अब आई द लो इज ऑल अबाउट ऑलवेज अबाउट यू इज ऑफन कोटेड दिस इज अ ग्राउंड रियलिटी there is zero tolerance for corruption whatever somebody may say some may try to play victim card but corruption eats into the growth of society we can never be tolerant of corruption and right now that is the new norm in such a scenario i pose three questions to you 
can you name any democracy in the world which is as vibrant, as functional, as operational as India? Our constitution has provided for democracy at village level, in the constitution, at municipal level, at state level, at central level, at cooperative level. No country has this mechanism as we have. Yet some people say democratic values are being compromised. No. Be judgmental after critical analysis. But if you think a narrative has been floated, you need to think about it and then take a call. If you don't approve of it, you must antidote it. A false narrative about such a vibrant democracy is antithetical to our national interest if we don't react. And I have no doubt the most powerful reaction always comes from rational minds and the young people are fully unreached of it. I am Chairman Rajya Sabha by virtue of being Vice President of the country. I know the kind of freedom of expression we have in our country. Even you would be aware about it. There can be no more freedom of expression in any part of the world than in our country. Then some people say that freedom of expression is not. This is outside of my understanding. There is no curtailment of any democratic value system in our country. It is blossoming. It is flourishing as never before. क्रिटिकल इश्यूज के ऊपर मेरा आपका अनुरोध है कि लकीर का फकीर नहीं होना है आपको लगे कोई चीज गलत है तो गलत है उस गलत को सही किया जाएगा पर कोई जो चीज गलत नहीं है सही है उसको गलत बताता है और हम उसके लिए चुप्पी साधते हैं वो ठीक नहीं है लॉन्ग बैक there was a reflection in a developed country that if silent majority decides to observe silence for long without giving its mind in public domain, it will be silenced forever. Our country is so rich in our culture, in our historical ethos, कि दुनिया को हम पर देखना पड़ेगा कौन सा दुनिया का देश है जो एक क्लेम कर सकता है कि हमारा पांच हजार साल का इतिहास है आवर कंसेप्ट वासुदेव कुटुम्बकम इज बीइंग रिफ्लेक्टेड नाउ इन आवर जी ट्वेंटी लीडरशिप वन अर्थ वन फैमिली इट हैज बीन विद अस ऑल थ्रू the kind of COVID management the government reflected. So ski bar hai. Doso bees crowd vaccination doses digitally recorded hai. Dunya ke kisi developed desh mein asa nahi hai. No country in the world can claim that all its citizens have got vaccination certificates digitally and look at our size and look at the number 2200 million certificates are digitally with the people and the difficulties we faced vaccine kaha hai hamara vaccine kaise safal hoga 
हमें तो बाहर से वैक्सीन लेना चाहिए हमारी तो तैयारी नहीं है बट द टेस्ट ऑफ द पुडिंग लाइज इन इटिंग नॉट ओनली वी सक्सेसफुली फेस पेंडेमिक कोविड वी हेल्प मोर देन हंड्रेड कंट्रीज टू टाइड ओवर द प्रॉब्लम एंड टू सम वैक्सीन वॉज मेड अवेलेबल फ्री बाई आवर वैक्सीन मैत्री प्रोग्राम फ्रेंड्स टाइम इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट I will be in connect with you, but I am leaving one homework with you. You are twenty-four into seven ambassadors of the most populous country on the planet, most vibrant democracy, mother of democracy. That is on the rise as never before. Your criticism will help. and untenable criticism and false narratives have to be antidoted by young minds because that is known as nationalism that is known as positive nationalism so i am leaving only this message to you antim baat tension mat rakhiye stress mat rakhiye कक्षा में सदा मैं फर्स्ट आता था मुझे डर लगता था मैं सेकंड आ गया तो क्या होगा इस डर को मैंने जिया है बहुत बाद में पता लगा शादी करने के बाद पता लगा कि सेकंड आता तो कोई खास तूफान नहीं आता कुछ दोस्तों से ज्यादा बात कर लेता कुछ एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज कर लेता तो ये जो कंपटीशन का बग है ना कि यहां नहीं आया तो द वर्ल्ड विल कम टू एन एंड वॉट माई फ्रेंड्स विल थिंक वॉट माई फैमिली मेंबर्स विल थिंक कैट ओवर इट डोंट हैव द फियर ऑफ लूजिंग फियर इज अ ग्रेट किलर ऑफ टैलेंट नेवर फियर फियर बिल्कुल मत डरिए देर इज ऑलवेज नेक्स्ट टाइम फॉर अ बेटर अपॉर्चुनिटी दिस वर्ल्ड हैज बीन चेंज बाय दोज पीपल हु फेल सेवरल टाइम्स एंड देन रजिस्टर ग्रेट प्रोग्रेस तो मानकर चलो ना कि टेंशन नहीं होगी एक और अच्छा काम करोगे जो सदा फर्स्ट आते हैं वो कभी नहीं आएंगे तो ये मौका किसी और को मिलेगा ठीक है गुड लक बेस्ट ऑफ लक वो कहते हैं कम समय था कम नहीं कहा है काफी कह गया हूं डाइजेस्ट कीजिए एंड एक्ट एज एम्बेस्टर एम्बेस्टर्स ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट नेशन ऑन द प्लेनेट दैट इज रजिस्टिंग अ राइज फॉर स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द प्लेनेट बाकी आई एंडोर्स बहुत जो विक्रम जी ने कहा है विक्रम जी जी कहा है और विक्रम जी ने यही कहा है आपसे बेहतर टैलेंट दुनिया में कहीं नहीं है आई एंडोर्स इट थैंक यू